Good evening, everyone. My name's Heath Haskins, Code Primate, and welcome back to Lumber Tycoon 2. Woo! So, um, I have an idea, and I've already started building it because I want to just get the concept out of the way. Basically, so, like, here's the, the ice pieces and stuff like that, right? And if you have an ice piece going like that, it's going to slide, slide, slide. Uh-oh. What happened? If you have an ice piece like this, it's going to slide, slide, slide. Slide, 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 slide. Hits the ramp. Goes up the little bitty conveyor belt. It's just a little one. It comes around the side. It comes back down. And it slides, 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 slides. So, I want to put another one on the opposite side, but I don't have enough parts. So, I'm going to do that in the build tonight. And basically, we're going to have a perpetual ice machine of some kind. I don't know the point of it. I don't know the purpose, but that's that's what I want to do. I want, I want to build that. So, <laughs> here we go. Uh, I'm going to need um, at least one more up the uh, um, inclined um, conveyor belt and I'm gonna need two of the curved conveyor belts uh, there looks like there might be some lag L lag lag Steven get rid of lag <laughs> a lot of you were asking who Steven is uh, well to the what is it like 200 new subscribers thank you by the way if you if you're new to this channel if you've never been in this channel before Thank you. Um, mostly what I do is Lumber Tycoon 2, but Steven is my assistant. He's my helper. Um, just so you know, he, he's not real. He doesn't actually exist. Hello, Tom. Hello, Code. But that's uh, that's kind of like one of the things that I do on the YouTube channel is I talk to um, fictional characters and make up voices for the other ones. Just like Tom here. Excuse me. Um, I'm just telling the, the people about your... Um, personality and where it comes from oh right you've told them that i'm not real right yes i, I let them know but i mean you're real to me tom <laughs> thank you sir i always imagine tom to be like one of those butler kind of people with a voice like hello good morning would you like to try our new specialty items blah 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 and that's that's what i pretend uh, i mean he might have a different voice inside your head but that's what i i hear when i come in Tom's friendly face and his antlers just smiling at me. Well, not his antlers. I mean, his antlers aren't going to smile at me, but you know what I mean. Maybe you don't. Um, yeah. So another thing I like to do on, on this channel, on my channel, is uh, point out the not-so-obvious that most YouTubers do every single day, and you don't realize it. For example, the fact that I'm talking to you, the audience, um... But in actuality, at the time of this recording, I'm in a room all by myself, just talking away. Steven! Get more people in here! <laughs> so it's a concept. It's an idea. It's a thought. And if you are new to YouTube, or if you're uh, trying to start your own YouTube channel, I highly encourage you to do so. Um, if you're under the age of 13, have permission from parents, blah blah blah, legal rights and all that stuff. Hello, thank you so much for the subscribe. Whoever that was, you are an amazing person. Alright, I'll grab the inclined. What is that? Crazy. Okay, um... I started planking out some of the, uh... Some of the planks into a one by one. Storms going on off in the background. I'm gonna have to, uh, push these closer together, aren't I? <gasps> no, we have to move the entire track over. Hmm, and I probably should put some walls up so they don't fall off. Should I? Yeah, let's okay, let's let's go ahead and do that now. Let's move this all over. Come here. Come here, you. Come on. Just slide over. There you go. Um also oh, 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 sorry. Update! I mean the whole point of the video, the the, the thumbnail and the, the thing. You guys are like, what about the update code? Um it's inside the menus. Look. Defaultio updated again. If you go to the load, you now have six slots. Look at this. Oh my goodness. You could max out at 12 data size in all six of the slots, and it would be amazing for everyone. So if you if you don't want to get rid of one of your builds and you've been working on it for a really long time, then you don't have to anymore. You can absolutely come in here and... Uh, well, wait. Was that a different message? What does that message say? Hold on. 
Uh, let's go back to load. What does this say down here at the bottom? Data sizes, uh, data saves to the last slot that you loaded from automatically during game and on exit. Planks and items that are on your property, structures, money, backpack, tools, save, logs, save. Logs would not cut by the sawmill. Do not save. Okay, that's, I think that's, that's old. We knew that. So, okay. Here we go. Let's keep, just keep building code. Stop jab, jibber jabbing. You jibber jabber too much. You jibber jab. Jibber jibber. Jibber jibber jibber. All right. There we go. And that means I'm going to have to move this one. Oh man, I'm sliding. I keep on sliding. Oh no. Okay, I gotta rotate that around. Oh gosh. Oh, am I going to be able to build it right there? Can he build it? Yes, he can. Go the builder. There we go. Okay, that, that looks nice. Very nice, actually. All right, let's move this. I'm gonna go right here. And we'll move this little piece out of the way. Whoop. I'm gonna move this one. It, this one goes right here. Maybe, if I can get it to stick there. Come on, stick. Stick. To the person that does the captions for my videos, thank you. And uh, I would like to give them a huge shout out. My wife does um, video captions. She does trans transcriptions. So it could be any anybody's video. Uh, I think YouTube actually hires out her company to do the the transcripts for the closed captioning, of course. Uh, where's that last one? Oh, I didn't grab it. I didn't grab it. Code, you are so all over the place tonight. What is going on? Well, I didn't drink quite as much coffee and... Mm. That's one of the main points. By the way, when you see me taking a sip of coffee on camera, it usually takes 5 to 15 minutes for the caffeine to actually hit the brain. So that's when you usually see the trigger, the, the caffeine, caffeine actually hit in. So unless it's a 30-minute video, that's probably not going to happen if you see me take a drink of coffee. So... Mm. <sighs> Time for science. I think it doesn't it take like eight hours for the human digestive system or something like that. I don't. I don't know the details. All right, and we're going to go with one fourth, right? Yes. Rotate, rotate. I want to come up just like ah, oh, perfect. Oh, 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 and. That was not perfect. That was perfect. Look at that. Perfectness. Oh my goodness. Okay, so. Um, I'm actually just going to like. Oh my gosh. Watch this. Watch, watch, watch. It's going to build itself. Here, I'm, I'm going to need uh, this one. I'm just going to drop that down there like that. Oh, that is so cool. Oh, look at this. Look, 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 look. Oh my gosh. <laughs> it built. And. Oh, come on. Yes. Oh, that was perfect. That was so amazing. <laughs> I couldn't have done that better if I had tried. Oh, my gosh. Okay. So let's chop us up a whole bunch of ice cubes here. Oh, gosh. Uh, I don't have an axe on. Code without an axe. What has the world come to? Um, there's a beta. I'm looking for in times axe. Hello. Thank you. Ooh. Oh, and that's in the wrong slot. I've got that over in slot two. We need it on slot one. <clears throat> it felt weird building a second ago. But here we go. All right. Uh, we'll also grab one of these as well. And I'm just gonna just gonna chop this up into squares. They might not be perfect squares, but they're still gonna be. They'll be close. All right. Move that over. Look at it sliding already. It's like going crazy on the slides. Oh man, this actually takes a while to chop. I did not realize the extent of the chop. Oh, also in this episode, we're gonna find out how much uh, how much this stuff cost per unit. Because I've, I've been saying I was gonna do that forever now. We might have to put up some some wedges, some walls, and stuff like that. So, uh oh, 
Whoa, whoa, whoa. Get on there. Get on there. There we go. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I got pieces flying. We got we got errors happening. There it went. There it went. There it went. Oh my goodness. Oh no. <laughs> Oh, that is so cool. That is too cool. We, should, we, we might use bigger pieces. Just saying. Oh, gosh. Look at, look at, look, 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 look. Oh, my gosh. It's a merry-go-round of icicle cubes. It's so amazing. And it's getting stuck. Somewhere on that left-hand side, it, it keeps getting stuck. <laughs> All right, we're gonna, we're gonna have to build some some walls of some kind. Uh, maybe maybe some wire in the middle. I kind of don't want to use wire because wire would... Uh, it's got an edge on it. It's kind of edgy. <laughs> it's not what I meant, but you know what I mean. Um, actually, I'm... Hold on. Do we have just regular wire? Any wire? Regular wire. Are you Are you here? Nope, we got neons. Which, by the way, I need to finish out my lighting up there. I have not done that in a while. And yes, I am playing on solo mode. Why? Because the physics of the, the game are a bit jerky in uh, public servers. Oh my gosh, I, I have got no wires, do I? What are you thinking, code? Oh my gosh. Okay, well, um, let's see here. I'm definitely gonna have to put up something. Maybe, maybe, uh, can we just do post? Maybe we can just do post. Post might take a second, but you know what? It's better to just get it built. Uh, let's see, rotate turn. Turn. No. Turn, rotate. There we go. There we go. And I'll line myself up like this, and away we go. Two, three, four. Six, seven, eight. Okay. Hit B. And we'll just toss that in there. Like that. Perfect. Couldn't have done it better. <laughs> All right. Uh, do the same thing on this side. Post. One. And then let's get lined up right in the center of where it's going to be three-dimensionally. Two. Uh oh. Three, four, five, six, seven, and. Oh, come on, come on, please. Last one, dude, come on. Eight. Nice. Uh oh, we got a gap. There's a gap. It's a baby gap. And not like the designer company. Um. Thank you so much for the subscribe. Whoever you are, I love you. You're amazing. I, well, uh, my love is not based upon subscriptions. <laughs> oh, man. Parents everywhere just went, Oh, he says he loves you if you subscribe? That is so wrong. I'm just, I'm, that's not true. I mean, I would, I would love you if you subscribe, but I'm, that's not based upon the... Subscription. I need to clarify that. Uh, somebody said in on Twitter the other day, like, do you say anything else besides I love you, smiley face? I said I love you too. <laughs> Happy face. <laughs> was, it was funny. Oh, man. I'm a dork. <laughs> Those are... Okay, that's not going to work out properly. Let's just, let's just go down here and combine those two. There we go. That's good. Uh, I can definitely use my sleds. We can use the sleds again. Uh oh, 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 oh. There you go. Use the sleds. Oh, by the way, check this out. Check this out. Okay. I thought I was crazy, but I'm not. Okay. There's nobody else inside the server, right? Remember how this was not working? And you guys were like, well, maybe it's the material, because we all know that ice doesn't slide on gravel. It's not true. It's not true at all. 
I actually, it might be true. Hold on. Wait, why is it? The slickness. What? Get. No. Okay. It was working before I started recording. I blame, oh, I blame OBS. It's gotta be OBS. It's OBS's problem. <laughs> Just kidding. It's not OBS's problem, code. Um, let's see here. Park this back in here. A lot of you might be saying to yourself, man, code's got a messy base. I like to think of it as unique and artistic. Um, it's very, you know, shut the door. Thank you. Um, but yeah, that's just my excuse for saying it's messy. It really is messy. I've got a messy base. <laughs> we'll grab this one. Here we go. And what I can do is I can just start tossing the ice cubes on there. And if they fall off, uh, there's going to be a section for them to fill in. See? That'll be cool. Oh, come on. Just just go. Just do it. I'll make them all a little bit bigger than one unit. That way they have a little bit of slide speed. Oh, this is good. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get back here. Get back here. It's very slick on this one, by the way. Whoops. Hey. <laughs> Come here, rascal. Little rascal. Thing just came flying out from underneath there. <laughs> All right, why is it not? Get out of there, dude. There he goes. Okay. Zoom. I do like that they stick on the conveyor belts. That's very convenient, by the way. Uh oh, I got stuck. Oh, did that one just turn into a plank? That's awesome. Or it turn, turned into a, a post. Post-apocalyptic ice place. Ooh, I wonder if that... Oh, stop sliding, dude. Stop sliding. Stop. Drop. Shut them down. Open up shop. Whoa. No. There we go. That's how Code Primate rolls. <laughs> <sighs> so, like I said, welcome the new 300 fans or 200 fans, whatever whatever it was. There's That was a lot of subscribers. So, either A, um, Lumber updated, so I got new subscribers, or Summer's finally here, and you guys are out of school. Either way, welcome to uh, Lumber Tycoon 2. And I hope for the summer break that you enjoy all of my videos as I will be going on vacation and attempting to do live streams while on vacation, which are mostly gonna be through you now and stuff like that. But this is just me talking to fill the time space of me trying to chop all these things up. Boop. Oh no, I dropped it again. This stuff is so slick. Uh, if you've not checked it out, go check out Bunny Films, uh, his hockey arena. That thing is amazing. Oh goodness, somebody just messaged me. Hello? Person? Uh, I want to play. I hope you have time to play after the video. Oh, oh, sorry. It's already like so late. It's like super late. <clears throat> of course. Uh, I do, okay, I did want to make an announcement. So, my daughter wants to start in on a series. And I told her, yes, absolutely. We will start in a, on a series as soon as summer is officially here. So once she's out of school, she will get a later bedtime. So we will be able to play. And uh, I asked her, do you want to do Roblox? And she said, no. I was like, what? Well, my daughter is getting older, so um, she, her... Her interest has changed. It's, I mean, she still plays Roblox. She still likes Roblox, but it's its no longer the same games. It's like uh, the RPG games and stuff like that. So, um, I don't know. I don't know what we're going to do. 
we'll uh, we'll have to figure it out when that time comes. But I just wanted to announce it just real quick that we will. Oh my gosh, I just found a bug. Well, it's not really a bug, but okay. You know what? We need to fix that because I don't want pieces like getting knocked and flying off the sides. And we're gonna have to do the same to the opposite side as well. So there we go, okay. That should prevent the piece from flying off. Oh, hey, there's another piece over here, dude. There we go. Then we're gonna need one more over on this side. Two, post, go one up like that. Perfect. All right, let's chop up some of this ice. Let's get it going. We're gonna get different pieces in here and stuff. Uh, let's back up the car. Whoops, uh, back up the car, dude. Back up the back up the car code. Ah, uh, there we go. All right, put that on the conveyor belt. It's off. It's going. Let's put one of these flat pieces on there. That'll look cool. Get a get a one of these planks going. Oops, totally dropped it in the wrong spot. All right, here it goes. Here it goes. Here it goes. Oh, I'm excited to see how it goes. Oh. What was that? What was that? Oh no, it's... Oh! It turned into the thing just before it blocked the other piece. That is awesome. That is awesome. Oh, it's like little race cars going around a track. I love it. That is brilliant. Okay, for those of you that are still in school, alright, this is... This is a little experiment in potential and kinetic energy, okay? So, when the, um, this, this piece right here, this is actually causing the energy. This is, it's still energy. Yeah, it's still, it, it's exerting energy to push the piece this direction. But, when the piece is up here on this level, it's, it's potential energy which means it has the potential to turn into something else. And then it hits the slope, gravity pulls down, and it turns into kinetic energy. That kinetic energy is pushed forward into motion. So energy changes from, from an idle state to a um, accelerated, not accelerated, a uh, motion state. Ooh, there we go. Code Primate, teaching with Roblox. I've actually, I've always said that. I wondered, what if I were to um, check all the standardizations of what it would take to teach a first grade class, right? And then come online, create a classroom where teachers could log in. They would have, you would have their information, who they are. The student would take their Roblox character, come into the game, and literally, like, you would go to class to learn, but it would be inside Roblox. It's, it's an idea, it's a thought. But like I've always said, ideas and thoughts turn into projects which turn into a reality. So what if one day you could actually attend school inside Roblox? The bullies and the fights and the the actual getting up to go to class. I mean, all of that, you, you would be, it would be a time saver. I mean, I see a lot of benefits to it, but at the same time, I also see a lot of downfall because the social aspect of being in the classroom, sharing and stuff like that, that's still there, but it's on a different level because it's now turned from a reality setting into like a, um, a virtual setting which shouldn't be looked down upon or bad because classrooms of 150 years ago and classrooms of today haven't really changed. Like the methods have changed a little bit, but it's still nice tidy rows, raise your hand to talk. Just the, the concept of the classroom and learning is all still the same. So take my idea, run with it if you like, um, I'm not sure if I'm going anywhere with it, but Roblox schools Paving the future I don't know. Come up with some kind of catchy slogan 
Uh, oh, my sleds didn't turn into anything. Maybe I should turn them into something. How much time do we have? Oh, we're at 25 minutes. Oh my goodness. Okay, so this was, this was the project that I wanted to work on tonight. And um, I didn't have anywhere else to put it. So I'm really glad I put it right underneath my quad saw. Oh my gosh. Oh no, it's getting stuck again. I think it's because I, I don't have anything in the middle. Um, what happens if I try and put a post in the middle? All right, that would block it on that side. But that, that would block it on that side. What about... Maybe some glass tiles? Glass tiles would work. Anyhow. Thoughts and ideas. I hope this has sparked your imagination and it's triggered some ideas of your own. And whatever ideas you've come up with and what you've you've created, I would love to see them. So my Twitter is at Code Primate. My username on Roblox is Code Primate. My Twitch stream is Code Primate. My YouTube is Code Primate. It basically Code Prime and the number eight. That's for everything. So check it out. Google it. Check out Famous Birthdays. It's on there. I'm like the fifth most famous Heath in the world or something like that. That's first name Heath. But, I mean, that's also just to thefamousbirthday.com. I'm sure there's a ton of people on there that aren't on there. There's plenty of Heaths that aren't on there, but I'm just saying. <laughs> Thank you, everyone, for watching this episode of Lumber Tycoon 2. With me, Heath Haskins, Code Primate, as I show you the six-slot update. That, that was, like, this started to be the point, and then I got lost and sidetracked inside the thing, and... Yeah. <laughs> you can even see it up here. Like, Wolf jumped in and she's like, Oh no, am I disturbing you? And I'm like, I have to do a recording. I was going to check out the six slots. And she's like, buzz, buzz, bye, I guess. I'm like, see you later. So, oh my gosh. I got I to gotta have private server, especially with slot one, because the lag is crazy. Crazy amounts of lag. Oh man, that is so cool. And it's still going. Don't forget to like, comment. Subscribe down below. Do all those cool things that I'm supposed to call out at the end. Happy summer to everyone. Anybody that's going on holiday. If you're transitioning from summertime to wintertime and you're getting ready to go back to school, sorry. Um, but there, there is another hemisphere to the globe and I don't want to leave you guys out as well. So everybody down under, um, happy winter. Uh, I hope everything's transitioning okay. I know it's supposed to be rainy monsoon seasons and stuff like that coming up. Uh, or maybe that's the northern hemisphere. I can never remember. Love you guys very much. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe down below. I said that already, didn't I? <laughs> outro. I'll just I'll just go straight to the outro. Outro. Thank you.